Hey guys, what Bambi TV? So today we're going to be reacting to Trinity in the Bible, not Trinity in the Old Testament, Trinity in the Quran. Ahmed did that. Guys, this will be my first time checking this out. So guys, if you have been watching my content, you know that I have issues with the Trinity. Because I I, I kind of find it strange that it is not written in the Bible, but I don't know that because of Trinity, I started reading the Bible like every day. Like I want to finish the Bible, then I start the Quran. But like I want to know because it's kind of I am doing things based on what I was told, not based on what I read. So trying to educate myself before I can take the next step. But guys, let's continue with this. Seek ye the truth, and the truth is set to free. Jesus Christ is coming back. Before I give any understanding on the Trinity, I must thank the Almighty and say, Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah for saving my neck. The pastor, he had 10 minutes, and the Bible in his hand, he couldn't give what I was asking. I said, one phrase, one sentence in the Bible where Jesus says, I'm God, or where he says, worship me. Thank God, he failed. And I knew that, therefore I took a chance. Otherwise, I would never have taken such a chance. <laughs> With regards to the Trinity, you ask the Trinitarians, ask the Trinitarians, they believe the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. But they are not three gods, but one God. And they continue in their catechism that the Father is Almighty, the Son is Almighty, and the Holy Ghost is Almighty. But they are not three Almighties, but one Almighty. That's how the catechism goes. And it proceeds, the Father is a person, the Son is a person, and the Holy Ghost is a person. But they are not three persons, but one person. I'm asking the English-speaking people, because I can't speak Swedish, the English-speaking people, I said, do words, do they have any meaning in your language? Do they have any meaning? Or you just utter words without any meaning? You said person, 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 but not three person, but one person. I said, what language are you speaking? It's because I know English. They taught me, the British have taught me English. <laughs> so what language are you speaking? This is not English, this is gibberish, not even Greek. This is gibberish. Person, 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 but not three person, but one person. I said, if you, who, any one of you, and your two other brothers are identical triplets, identical, we can't make out the difference between the th three of you. If one of you commit murder, can we hang the other? I said, no. I said, why not? You all look alike. So he says, no, you see, I'm a different person. I said, what makes you a different person? Your personality. Now, in your mind, the Father is different, the Son is different, and the Holy Ghost is different. When you say in the name of the Father, you have a certain mental picture of the old Father Christmas, bigger than anything that we can imagine, millions and millions of times, bigger than man, but something like a man, with the heaven as his canopy, and the earth as his footstool, the loving Father in heaven. When you say God the Son, what are you thinking of? A prize bull or a false father? No. You're thinking of a handsome young man, like what you saw in The King of Kings, where Jeffrey Hunter was acting. Blonde hair, blue eyes, a Nordic type, a Scandinavian type, not a Jewish type. He doesn't look like a Jew. There's one... There's a picture of Jesus Christ, there at the back here, where they gave me a place to rest before coming over here, on the wall. And you see a handsome young man, like a Norwegian or a Swede, blue eyes and all, and you see a halo on his head. There, there. If they allow you, go and have a look. There's a halo on his head. I said, where did you get the halo from? You know, that ring, neon light ring, suspended in air. Where did you get it from? Is the Bible says that, that he had a halo around his head? Did the Jews see any such thing? No, no. But you see now, we are all programmed into thinking and believing anything, everything that the man says with force, we accept. So I said, this trinity, 
is thrown out, the verse on the Trinity, the first epistle of John, chapter 5, verse 7, where it says, for there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one, is taken out, thrown out of this Bible, the Revised Standard Version, as a fabrication. It's not here. It's taken out. Why? Because this was a note made by a certain vigilance of Thapsus in the 6th century for his own edification or for the edification of his children. Which when the publishers, when they came across the manuscript, that marginal note came into the text. It crept in into the text. Now your scholars now discover that this is a fabrication, this is a note. This is not the works of John. So they took it out as a fabrication, as an interpolation. Jesus Christ, he never taught the Trinity. When he was questioned, Gospel of St. Mark, a learned man of the Jew comes and asks him, he says, Master, in the Hebrew language, Rabbi, what commandment is the first of all? And Jesus answered and said unto him, the first is, Shama Israelu Adonai Elohainu Adonai Echad. Say, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. He repeated word for word what was given by Moses some 1300 years before, without the change of a dot. If Trinity was what he came to teach, that was the right moment to educate the guy, for there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. He never said any such, such thing. He merely reminded him about what Moses had given 1300 years before. So there is no such thing as a Trinity as taught in the Bible by Jesus Christ. Wow. This is... Like it, it was so. It was so good that I, I, I didn't actually see the like. like this was too short for me. Like, okay, it's a six minute video, but it was too short. Like, I thought this was gonna be long. Maybe I find it very educative. That is why I didn't see this long. But the truth is that I've actually, I many that I've tried his best, and I kind of believe him. <laughs> to be honest, like. Because if you think of it, God, Jesus said God is one. But what I was hearing is that Jesus actually assumed his place in the throne after he died. And said, I'm not sure. Like, I need to read it by myself. Like, I need to read the Bible for myself. Try the New Testament. That's the journey I'm trying to take. I think I'm Solomon now, but I went to John and I could John. I need to read it myself. Because if you think about the Trinity, like, we only have one God. But Jesus, Son of God, but because God Himself actually acknowledged Jesus Christ as as His Son, because He said when Jesus was being baptized, and I don't know if you believe if Jesus was baptized or not, but He said, "This is my beloved Son, in whom I'm well pleased." Then a dove came upon His shoulders. That was the symbol of the Holy Spirit. I don't know. I haven't read the verse, but now what I was taught, but. See, now I'm trying to put everything I was taught aside and do research for me, like do research for me so I can find out the truth. But anyhow, guys, if you don't want this video, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Best.